just your daily reminder not to install some random web browser extension. Mega Lab has put out more videos such as the Honey Scam is worse than I thought, exposing Honey's evil business model. This is after about a year where his original video exposing the Honey Influencer Scam was posted, got 18 million views. And again, I keep warning you about this. This is from Security Week. Chrome extensions with 900,000 downloads caught stealing AI chats. And from Dark Reading, fake AI Chrome extensions steal 900,000 users data. I've made quite a few of these videos. I've had pushback on some of the videos where I say, you know, don't install browser extensions. And what I'm saying by that is be very careful which ones you install because some of them look legitimate. Some of them have thousands of reviews saying that they're good. Hundreds of thousands of people are downloading them, but this kind of stuff happens. So in this example, threat actors ripped off a legitimate AI powered Chrome extension in order to harvest ChatGPT and DeepSeek data before sending it to a C2 server. So they stole conversations and browser data from hundreds of thousands of users. So application security vendor Ox Security detailed this campaign in a recent blog entry where these extensions are posing as legitimate extensions, but are exfiltrating or taking that data from your computer and then sending it to a server. So they are copying the functionality of the legitimate app while also exfiltrating user conversation and browser data to a command and control server. One title, ChatGPT for Chrome with GPT-5, Claude Sonnet and DeepSeek AI had more than 600,000 users and a Google Chrome featured badge, while the other AI sidebar with DeepSeek, ChatGPT, Claude and more had over 300,000. Be careful downloading stuff like this. Might be featured, may look reliable, may have hundreds of thousands of downloads. This kind of stuff still happens. Okay, so these were online when Ox published the blog, but have been removed now. Both of them requested consent for anonymous, non-identifiable analytics data, while in actual fact, that's exactly what they use to enable exfiltration of complete conversation content from ChatGPT and DeepSeek sessions. So again, just a warning, be careful which browser extensions you install. Only install reputable browser extensions. And if in doubt, don't install them. That's what I would say. Some people push against that and say it's fine to install browser extensions. But I see this kind of stuff popping up all the time. There are some that are okay, like uBlock Origin. But I'm very careful recommending any browser extensions. Be careful what you install. Don't just install some random browser extension. You probably know this. But what about your family? What about your mother, grandmother, etc.? They may think it's okay to install this kind of stuff. And this is what happens, unfortunately. So again, just another reminder.